Moving average is a powerful indicator to analyze the stock, such as trend analysis and buying point analysis. However, do you know there are some conditions that we need to avoid when using moving average? Otherwise, we may lose more money. Hello everyone, in this video, I will be sharing how to use moving average to gauge the support and resistance to assist us in stock market analysis using Momo Trading Platform. This will be a step-by-step -step guide tutorial, so please get your Momo apps ready. Please watch this video until the end as I will be also sharing when we should avoid using moving average as using it at the wrong time could lose us quite a lot of money. What is moving average? The moving average, or MA, is the average price taken over a specific period of time. Most moving average is computed based on the closing price. If we are reading daily chart, MA20 means the average closing price of the last 20 days. If we are reading weekly chart, MA20 then signifies average closing price of the last 20 weeks. The time frame can be in minutes too. To me, I normally use simple moving average SMA for a longer time period, such as 50 days or week and above. For shorter time period, I prefer to use exponential moving average EMA. EMA has a quicker reaction to the most recent price changes. Thus, EMA moves much faster and it changes its direction earlier. Which period used? It depends on the personal preference and sound. In general, for the short-term trading, EMA9, EMA12, and EMA26 are generally used. To me, as a long-term investor, I will use EMA20 and 40 to identify a short-term entry to open a new position or swing trade. While MA50, MA100, MA150, and MA200 are used for a long-term analysis. In general, the longer period we use or more bounce happens on that particular MA, it is considered as a strong support. For example, MA200 is a stronger support compared to MA150 and MA100. But EMA20 and EMA40 are considered weaker support. In this chart, Nasdaq tends to bounce at MA100. Recently, MA150 is a very strong support to it. You may notice that EMA20 and EMA40 are very weak to hold the price. Although each stock has its own preference to a certain moving average period too, but to standardize my analysis, I will stick to the same moving average to all my stocks. From the previous example, the moving average that I'm using, SMA20, SMA40, MA50, MA100, MA150, and MA200 managed to fit the index quite well. As most of the stocks move with the index, such as Dow Jones, SPX, and Nasdaq, I will just stick to this moving average in all my stock analysis. By the way, as moving average is one of the most popular technical indicators used by many traders and investors, Thus, these numbers serve as an emotional support as many of us are willing to buy the stock at these levels. How to use moving average? Identify a trend. If the moving average is sloping out and the candlestick is above it, it signifies the price is in an uptrend during that period. Similarly, if the moving average is sloping down and the candlestick is below it, it signifies the price is in a downtrend during that period. In general, this approach is more suitable for a long-term analysis, such as moving average 150 or MA200. Please take note that a stock could have different type of trends in a certain period. Using Twitter as an example, it is in a long-term uptrend because its current price is above both MA150 and MA200. However, it is in a mid-term downtrend 
as the price is below both MA50 and MA100. MA50 is also slipping down. However, in a short term trend, EMA20 and EMA40 are slipping out. Thus, Twitter is now experiencing long term uptrend, mid term downtrend, and short term uptrend. Which trend to follow depends on your time target. A stock with a strong trend pattern will have all the moving averages aligned to each other, swooping in the same direction. Dow Jones is a very good example for this case. Second, add a support as resistance. Some stocks tend to rebound at a certain moving average. In an uptrend, MA acts as a support and stock will bounce and move higher. In a downtrend, MA acts as a resistance. The stock will hit the moving average and move downwards. Third, spot a trend reversal. For instance, when the candlestick is closing and closing above the moving average 200 in its daily chart, it signifies a potential trend reversal. We can also use in crossover between two moving averages. For example, when moving average 50 crosses above or below moving average 100 or MA150, it signifies a medium trend reversal. My favorite is using the crossover of MA50 to MA150. However, please take note that spotting the trend reversal of moving average is not equal to buy or sell to open a position. I will explain more in the latter part of this video using Ford as an example. During this period, the stock is at downtrend and below moving average 200. Then we can see a crossover of MA50 to MA150 here signifies a potential trend reversal. After that, it moved above MA200 and the trend is moving upwards. 4. Dollar Cost Averaging Moving average can serve as a critical support to help us to save bullet and conserve more cash. I have explained in details how to do dollar cost averaging properly in the last video. Please refer to it if you have not watched it yet. 5. Cut Loss If the trend is broken, we may consider to cut the loss. By the way, I am Jay and this channel is created to record my journal and provide insight how I plan to retire myself early in stock market. Please subscribe my channel if you would like to retire early from the stock market too. Please join our telegram group in the description if you would like to engage with a group of like-minded investors too. Step-by-step -step guide to apply moving average using Mumu platform. First, let us start with BIA, the ETF that tracks Dow Jones 30. On the Mumu platform, click Codes. Type the ticker that we want to analyze, in this case, BIA. Click Enter. On the right hand corner, there is an icon that we can click and make it a full screen. Do you see 1D, 1W, 1M, etc.? Those signify the candlestick period. 1D means each candlestick represents one day. 1W means each candlestick represents one week, and so on. We can also look for monthly candle, yearly candle, or even minutes candle for trading and scalping. At the very right end, there are some ready time frame to be used. To me, for a shorter term analysis, I will use one year and one day chart. For longer term chart, I will use three years and one week chart. However, there is no option for this time frame. Let's add it. Click Add Scope. Range is the time frame that we are looking for. For 3 years, I will select years and key in 3 here. For the K line, select 1W. Click confirm. Then it is in the selection now. We can remove it by clicking the dustbin button. Let us go back to 1 year and 1 D chart. At the bottom of the chart, we can see a list of indicators here. MA stands for Moving Average. Before we click it, we need to set it out first. 
on the right top corner here, click the icon Chart Management. Click Indicator Management. Click on the MA. Uncheck everything first. Then I will set the following MA50 blue color, MA100 orange color, MA150 green color, and MA200 red color. This will be the color codes used in all my video. Then, tick on them. 50, 100, 150, 200. Next, click EMA. Uncheck everything. EMA 20. Pink color. EMA 40 light blue color then check on them after that we can just stick here to show the EMA and MA on the chart alternatively we can also click the shortcut at the bottom of the chart if we select 3 years and 1 week chart then each EMA or MA will represent weekly move. By the way, we can also adjust the time frame by dragging the time bar here. Hope till this part, you have learned something new. Moving average is a powerful indicator to analyze the stock, such as trend analysis and buying point analysis. However, do you know there are some conditions that we need to avoid when using moving average? Otherwise, we may lose more money. Now, let us see when we should avoid using moving average or to take the extra precautions required. First, moving average is a lagging indicator. Thus, it could not be used to predict the price movement. It will still need macroeconomic trend and company fundamental to support the stock price. For example, Teladoc Health or TDOC only took one month to plunge through all SMA 20, 40, and MA 50, 100, and 200. As the inflation fear, rate high no longer managed to support the high valuation of TDOT. Please watch my video here to know how I analyze macroeconomic trend and also the fundamental of a company. Short-term moving average is weak. Using Microsoft daily chart as an example, moving average 150 is a strong support. However, SMA20 and SMA40 do not really add like support and resistance in this case. The stock price just passing through them out and down like nothing. However, if we use the weekly chart instead, SMA20 is now becoming a much better and stronger support. This is because now each candlestick represents one week longer period than the daily candle, not for consolidation. When a stock is in consolidation, all moving average are like merging to each other. Moving average is meaningless as moving average is only useful when there is an obvious trend. Instead, we should use horizontal line as support and resistance to analyze the stock instead. 4. Moving average is also meaningless for a pump and dump stock. Lastly, crossover is not buying point. This is a very important point. Although previous, I did mention that MA crossover could signify a change in trend, but it never suggests a buying point. Using Costco as an example, the moment MA50 crosses below MA150, it signifies a mid-term downtrend. However, as moving average is a lagging indicator, the price is already very low and it rebounds later. Similarly, when moving average 50, cross above 150 here, signifying the mid-term trend is shifting to uptrend. However, the price is already at high. Hope you learned something new in this video. 
which period of moving average that you use the most? Please share with us in the comment section. In my next video, I will prepare a short tutorial on Think or Swim platform that I am usually showing it on my videos. Before you go, please give me a like too. Thank you and see you in the next video.